coming up. The estate regeneration plans that have been on hold since before the Olympics. We don't need to live in a castle. We don't live to live in posh houses. We just want an estate where everybody knows everybody and live happily ever after. Sadiq Khan introduced the ballot policy back in 2018 for estate regeneration schemes where the plan is to demolish social housing. Newham Council and its housing company Populo Living spent around £350,000 in advance of the yes vote. Some say the process was biased. A lot of the things that went on in this campaign go completely beyond what would be allowed in a democratic election. It's the amount spent per voter, which in this case was around £750. That dwarfs any spending limit in a democratic election. This result cannot stand in a democratic way. It makes a mockery of the mayor's manifesto promise to make sure there is genuine resident support. For example, a local authority, a council, can spend uh, uncapped public funds to secure a yes vote, in this case to demolition, while residents like Agnes have no resources, have no funding to put across their points of view. It's not a level playing field. Um, the residents on Carpenter's estate are saying it, but also residents across London estates are saying it. For example, in Lovely and Tottenham, councillors are calling for an inquiry into the same thing. And as Sean Berry said, it wouldn't be allowed in an election or a referendum, so why is it being allowed in estate ballots?